I couldn't believe what I was hearing. Actually, the problem is, I did. Well, I hope you had a happy 4th of July. I did. It's one of my favorite holidays, but it wasn't always. It doesn't have anything to do with patriotism or politics. It was something personal. When I was 12, I overheard two adults talking rather frankly about me at a 4th of July party. They were completely unaware that I was listening to them as they compared me to other children at the event. They weren't cruel or judgmental particularly, just painfully honest about my shortcomings. By the way, they also acknowledged a lot of my positive attributes, but of course all I heard and remembered for years were the negatives. And after that, the 4th of July became a sort of annual checkup for me, where I stopped to evaluate myself and see if I'd improved or at least tried to correct the weaknesses that I and they saw in me. The sad part is that I was so hard on myself that year after year, that annual checkup on the 4th of July became more of a time to remind myself of all that I hadn't done than to rejoice in what I had accomplished. I wonder if any of you are like me, celebrating your own personal new year on a day that you might consciously or unconsciously choose as a sort of anniversary where you take stock of yourself and compare where you are now to where you were a year ago. And I wonder if you were as hard on yourself as I was on myself for so long. It wasn't until a summer many years later, another 4th of July weekend, in the very same place, that I came to a moment of peace and self-acceptance and forgiveness. I talk about that experience in a video I entitled, The Rock in the Woods. What happened that day changed the way I thought about myself forever. Perhaps more importantly, it forever changed the way I thought about other people's opinions of me. Of course, it won't surprise you to hear that something miraculous happened that day with the rock in the woods. I hope you have a chance to watch that video this week or whenever you find yourself being terribly hard on yourself and falling into the trap of being more willing to believe something negative about yourself than something positive. What does it take to change that? Who do we have to hear from before we believe the good stuff? Well, watch The Rock in the Woods. I hope it encourages you and perhaps even shines new light on an old familiar scripture. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God. In Him will I trust. Those people at the picnic that day on the 4th of July did not create me. They did not really know me. They were not my refuge and my fortress. Those things apply only to Almighty God. He made me. He knows me. He loves me. And that is what I remind myself now of every 4th of July and most every other day too. See you soon.